Are any of the fashion trends for 2024 even wearable? Let's find out. Welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Teresa, and in today's video, we are going to talk about five fashion trends for 2024 that are actually wearable for women of a certain age. In my opinion, fashion should be fun, and you should always wear what you feel good in and what makes you feel amazing. On the runways, the styles are often very exaggerated and over the top, and I'm not suggesting that you go out and buy every trend. In fact, I advise against it, but it's a lot of fun to just pull little elements from the runways and incorporate them into your current wardrobe. With that said, it can be difficult deciding which trends that you want to try, and every magazine this season seems to have a different opinion about what the trends even are. So in this video, I'm going to isolate some very wearable trends that work especially well for women of a certain age that are going to give your wardrobe a fresh modern twist. The first wearable trend of 2024 that really stood out to me and I think anyone can pull off this look is the white dress. White dresses were all over the runways and I have to say that this is probably the easiest trend that I've seen in a very long time because there are so many options. You can go with a satin, you can go with a crisp white cotton, you can go with something with a lace detail, and you can wear a white dress just about anywhere unless of course you're going to a wedding. I personally love white in the spring and summer anyway. It is just so bright and crisp and modern and especially when we're coming out of the winter months where everything is kind of dark and maybe a little bit dreary where you live. Here it's raining all of the time and now I'm envisioning wearing a white dress, maybe on a beach somewhere, maybe on a cruise, maybe out to dinner. And I love the fact that a white dress doesn't have to be formal anymore. I think this is a trend that is so wearable. The second wearable trend for 2024, and this is going to work for a lot of you, is the high-waisted trouser. For me personally, if a low-rise never again graced the fashion world in my lifetime, I would be thrilled. Once I hit a certain age, I just wasn't interested in wearing a low-rise anymore, and nobody needs to see that anyway. But this high-waisted trouser is a whole nother ball game because it is going to be very leg-lengthening. Now, I do want to point out a caveat, and I think it's important in a video like this, that not all trends work for all body types. Case in point, a very high-waisted trouser does not work for me personally because I am short-waisted. I am also borderline petite-ish at 5'4". If I wear a ultra high-waisted anything, they are going to come up to just below my chest and look ridiculous. With all of that said, for you ladies that do have a long torso, there are so many stylish outfits that you could put together with this trend. A high-waisted trouser is going to look amazing with a fitted top, with a blazer, with a cardigan that's belted. There are so many options. Your legs are going to look a mile long, and this is definitely a wearable trend. The third wearable trend for 2024 is so easy because it's called Smell the Roses. Anything that has a floral print, appliques, petal details, that fun garden party look. And I do think that this is a trend that anyone can pull off. Now, I'm not talking about necessarily being in head-to-toe florals. Sometimes that can be a bit much. But again, with the elements, maybe it's just a floral top. Maybe it's a handbag with a floral print. Maybe it's even jewelry. You can pull this look into any outfit. And let's face it, spring is the time for florals anyway. There is so much out there to choose from and you can add as little or as much as you want and even though this is called smell the roses it doesn't mean that it has to be necessarily pink or red either there are florals in a bunch of different patterns and they all fall into this category this is such a wearable trend the fourth wearable trend for 2024 is being called 
Polo Club. Now this is not the prim and proper preppy look that we've seen in years past. I think that there are a lot of options within this trend. Maybe you like a bold wide stripe. Maybe you like a fine stripe. A v-neck sweater with a polo collar is going to fit right into this trend. And you can mix and match these pieces for some really fun outfits. This is definitely one of the more wearable trends at any age. The fifth wearable fashion trend for 2024 is metallics. Last season, we saw a tremendous amount of silver tone. And although I like it on other people, it doesn't go with my coloring as well as gold. And I was happy to see that gold and gold tone are also very much on trend for 2024. The metallic trend is such an easy thing to incorporate into your wardrobe. Now, I am not going to be wearing gold lame MC Hammer pants by any stretch of the imagination, but how easy is it to mix in some metallics? Whether it's in jewelry, whether it's a subtle fashion piece, I personally love a soft gold tone shoe or handbag, and that's an easy way to work it in. In fact, I have a pair right here, let me grab them. This is a pair of sandals that I picked up from Walmart for an upcoming spring video. If you are not already subscribed, be sure and hit that subscribe button down below. I have one of the largest Walmart hauls that I have ever done, complete with try-ons coming up. You won't want to miss it. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But back to the topic at hand, I have always found that a soft gold tone or silver tone shoe or handbag is so easy to make an outfit pop. And it is definitely a wearable trend for 2024. Now that we've talked about five wearable fashion trends for 2024, I thought it would be fun to talk about a few of the trends that I am definitely passing on. And the first one is short shorts. Nope. I'm looking at these runway examples and I don't even know what's going on here. These shorts are ridiculously short. And is the model in the back wearing a diaper why would anybody wear anything like this? I just don't get it. For me personally, at 61 years old, I need at least a five inch inseam. So the short shorts are not going to happen. Let me know what you think about this trend in the comments. The next trend that I am totally passing on and I do not find wearable at all are see-through and sheer skirts. The only reason I'm wearing a skirt is to cover up all those bits. I'm not going to be wearing a transparent shower curtain anywhere out there in public. These trends are just silly to me. While we're on the topic of fashion trends, I think this is the perfect time of year to go through your closet and really curate the pieces that you allow to take up space in your closet. And this is the perfect time to ditch those pieces that are not serving you well. I actually did an entire video on this very topic, so you're going to want to watch this video next. Thanks so much for spending a little bit of your day with me, and I will see you next time.